The rest of the U.S. House session for the week has been canceled uh, after threats to the Capitol tomorrow. Remember the news earlier today that um, this internal bulletin from DHS and the FBI uh, was warning of imminent threats to the U.S. Capitol by some type of militia group uh, on March 4th. As you know, maybe you don't know, March 4th used to be the date that presidents were inaugurated until the passage of the, I believe, 20th Amendment uh, to the U.S. Constitution, which moved it to January 20th and not March 4th. Anyway, uh, Fox News' Chad Pergram has some more information on this change. He said Fox has learned from multiple sources that votes for the rest of the week have been canceled in the House after tonight, partly due to a potential threat at the Capitol on March 4th. It goes on to say a senior House Democratic leadership source tells Chad that the decision was made to cancel votes for the rest of the week, partially due to the risks of the threat presented to lawmakers by the U.S. Capitol Police. Lastly, it says Fox is told that the House Rules Committee will now meet tonight to prepare the George Floyd Police Reform Bill and we're still waiting for the Senate to potentially forge ahead and begin work on the COVID bill tonight. But thus far, no changes have been made to the Senate schedule. So, uh, as Chad said, no changes yet made to the Senate schedule. They have a very bus busy rest of the week uh, as the, they'll be taking up the COVID relief bill that was passed in the House last Friday, uh, or start debate on it, rather. Uh, that could have possibly happen tonight, so we'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, but first, we're going to go to commercial, and then we're going to go back out to Lori Lightfoot, the mayor of Chicago, and she was meeting with police officials there in the Windy City to talk about how they can update how they execute search warrants in Chicago. But first, that commercial break. See you back here in two minutes.